video, we will learn about I.O. controls and indicators. We can use the I.O. controls on the I.O. and classic I.O. palettes with the functions for acquiring data, sharing data between applications and controlling instruments. We can use the I.O. controls to specify the instrument or device resource we want to communicate with. We can use the waveform control to hold acquired data for analysis and display. We can use the controls located on the DAC MX name controls palette to access the task. global channels, physical channels, terminals, scales, devices and switch resources. which we configure using Measurement and Automation Explorer, Max and DAC Assistant. Note, on Windows, Library supports NI DAC MX and the DAC Assistant. On Linux, Library supports NI DAC MX but not the DAC Assistant. On Mac OS, Library supports NI DAC MX Base but not the DAC Assistant. We can use the visa resource name and IBI logical name controls to access the visa aliases or logical names we configure using Max. We can use the field point IO point control to access the field point items we create and configure using Max. We can use the iMac session with image acquisition boards. We can use the motion resource IO control to access a motion resource we configure using Max. Any items we configure in Max appear as options in the IO control pull down menu. We can use the shared variable control to select browse to and enter shared variables for use in VIs. We can use any of the other controls in the palette to access names or resources associated with them.
After we select an I.O. control, configure it for use with the I.O. VIs that communicate with the devices or instrument. Note, many I.O. name controls are available on all platforms. We can develop I.O. VIs on any platform that can communicate with devices that are platform specific. However, if we try to run a VI with a platform specific I.O. control on a platform that does not support that device, we will receive an error. Some of the controls allow us to select multiple defined names. We can use the operating tool to click the control, select browse from the pull down menu and use the control key to select consecutive or non-consecutive members. Refer to the respective toolkit, module or driver documentation for more information about LabVIEW add-ons.